welcome dear students uh, as you know that i am nowadays dealing with the epistatic interactions many types of interactions you have and i am putting different types with examples now i'm going to deal the second type of epistatic interaction or interallelic interaction this is named as duplicate gene interaction or that is also called duplicate dominant epistasis duplicate dominant epistasis or simply you can say duplicate gene action uh once you say that duplicate means definitely if i say that someone is duplicate of you so everyone will think that the similar type of you is someone else so on the basis of that it is called duplicate gene action means there are two genes and both are duplicate means they are both are giving the same phenotype that is why we are saying that they are duplicate but of course they are duplicate in dominant is dominant form when both are in dominant state whether they are in homozygous state or in heterozygous state if both are independently giving the same phenotype both are independently giving the same phenotype so you can say as i said that if someone is saying that he is your duplicate means both of you are looking similar in phenotype because in many times you see the identical twins monozygotic twins are looking similar so duplicate of that so similarly there are two genes but both are if they are coming independently they are giving exactly same phenotype but yeah but they should be in dominant form dominant form in homozygous or heterozygous in both the cases they are giving the same phenotype but one thing is more if both are coming together then also they are giving the same phenotype you have to keep in your mind while talking about the dominant type of a uh, duplicate gene interaction you must keep in your mind that there is something if there are two genes both are giving the same phenotype means both the genes are duplicate even then if they are both are coming in uh, to, uh if both are coming together also they are giving the same result same phenotype you have to keep in your mind duplicate gene action means there are two genes both are giving same result both are giving same phenotype when they are in dominant form you have to keep in mind that is why we say duplicate dominant epistasis when they are coming in dominant state whether in homozygous dominant or heterozygous dominant doesn't mean if they are coming independently they are giving same phenotype if they are coming both the dominant genes are coming together whether in dominant 
hopojagas dominant are heterojagas dominant if both are coming together then also they are giving the same phenotype if they are coming independently in dominant is form then they are giving the same phenotype but the relationship of both are giving the contrasting result only two types whenever you are getting the contrasting phenotype of that character it means both the genes have come together in recessive state because any one gene is coming in dominant form they are giving to give the result but there is only one case when both the genes are coming in recessive state both together then only you are getting contrasting character as in case